and I'm a Puerto Rican, right? And Puerto Ricans, we like to fix everything at home. So I was like, let me just get some Vicks. It's so exciting. I was like, I'm gonna get some Vicks and I'm fine. I'll put it on my side. And, and I remember I, I had really bad pain and I heard the Lord say, go to the hospital. And I said, there's no way. I'm terrified. He was like, go to the hospital. So I went to the hospital. I got checked out and they told me, are you diabetic? And I said, no. They said, well, your sugar's at 600. And they said, and uh, it looks like you're having pancreatitis. And I said, how? They said, we don't know. This is really random. You're only 29 years old. You're young. Uh, this shouldn't be happening to you, but let's run some more labs. So for those of you who probably know more medical terms than this, because I learned, right? They said, also your triglycerides are very high. A normal person would have probably under 200, right? 200 is still pretty high. Yours is in the 4,000s. How are you alive? And I said, <laughs> this is so random. And I, you know, you have these moments and you start to question like God, like, I've been faithful, I've been serving you. I know you're good. So what do you have to teach me in this? What am, what am I gonna learn from this? Because if you're good, this is gonna turn around. I don't know how. So they sent me home, they said, we're gonna send you home. And I remember I got sent home and it started getting worse. And I went back two days after and they said, you need to get admitted right away, you're in DKA which usually means your organs start shutting down because your blood becomes uh, acidic. So I got admitted, I couldn't walk. It was a very humbling experience. I couldn't lift my hand. So if you see me in worship and you're like, she's wild. <laughs> I couldn't lift my hands to the Lord before. I couldn't dance, I couldn't jump, I couldn't shout. And I told the Lord, I'm gonna give you everything when I move again. And so I was there for about two weeks they gave me a diagnosis and said, well, you're diabetic. Uh, you can turn this around. You might have permanent damage. Um, so maybe you'll turn this around now, but in the future, you might be diabetic again. I said, okay. I did the work. I prayed. I said, Lord, you're a healer. I believe you're healed. I'm, I'm going to be responsible, right? Because we have to work it out, yeah. right? Faith without works is that. I'm going to be responsible. A year later, I go back and they said, we don't know what happened, but there's no scar tissue. There's no damage. And they said, you turned it around, you reversed it. I know this is a miracle from the Lord because they said, even if you turn it around, we will see scar tissue. Turn it around. And so they told me, you're, the, you're our only patient that we're discharging from diabetes. And I no longer have it. Praise God. But... When I had written this song, I went back to the hospital again because your body will get healed, but my mind needed healing. Even though I was healed, I still thought as a sick person. I was always afraid of is something wrong with me. I would go back, they're like, you're fine. I'll be like, I have pain. I would go back, they'll say, you're fine. So there's one day that I went in, in the hospital. I was in the ER waiting and I started praying and I said, Lord, I know my weapon is worship and I can write songs, so I'm gonna write this prayer. And this is a song that I, I sang in a spontaneous moment. And I finished the song in the ER and it changed my perspective. And now every time I face a valley or a darkness or anything, I think of Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He leads me beside green pastures. And he restores my soul. So I'm just going to share the chorus and the bridge. I'm going to teach it to you guys. Is that all right? Right? So let's do the chorus. So it says, The Lord is my shepherd. Why should I fear? The Lord is my shepherd. I know he's here. says 